Good afternoon. My name is Sue Beveridge and I'll be your host today for the webinar about our conference Inspire Greatness. First of all, um, I'd like to just let you know who I am and um, I'm the uh, Smart Technologies uh, Education Advisor and I will actually be attending the conference and uh, helping you to be throughout the, throughout the two wonderful days that we have planned for you. So this afternoon's session um, will finish at 4.15 and you'll be able to ask questions uh, using the question um, device so that I'll probably speak to you for about 20 minutes about the conference. So as we're going, if you have any questions, just um, write them down and put them in and we'll come back to you at the end and hopefully answer all of your uh, and clarify anything for you. The conference um, is a special conference because unlike a lot of conferences for teachers, this is a free conference. And part of the reason we do that is to enable groups of teachers to come together. And that is um, the best way for teachers to learn is in teams. And by being a free conference, it's possible for four or five teachers from any school to attend. Uh, it's in the school holidays, which also means that there's no relief required. So for schools, this is a very positive positive um, activity. We have um, also uh, our venue, which is particularly important too. We choose a venue, in this case, it's the Shaw School, or the Sydney Grammar School at North Sydney, which is a beautiful school close to the North Sydney station, so teachers don't have to worry about driving and parking because there's ready access. But the school also has a fantastic IT department who are very supportive, and um, there are, in each each classroom is sufficient um, technology for the kinds of presentations that we believe are significant. And that is teachers seeing teachers using technology in classrooms that model the kinds of classrooms that they work in every day. Often conferences are held in hotels or in trade show environments which don't actually replicate the kind of experience that teachers have. So our conference is in the a school, in a school, and not only is it led by teachers, for teachers, but it also in a school environment. Now, if you, I, if you look now and you can have a look at my screen, you'll see that what I have there is the um, Inspire Greatness Conference, and you can see that it will be in Sydney, um, and we'll often have the conferences, we might um, move around Australia so that every um, teacher can have access. There are an enormous number of teachers in New South Wales and we're hoping that they will um, enjoy being able to come to the conference during their school holidays on the 26th and 27th of September. The conference I'm going to walk you through so you'll understand um, what its goals are, who's, who is actually speaking at the conference and why, and why these themes are very significant for teachers today. So let's have a look at the four conference streams. We have think, we have innovate, we have training, and we have technology. And part of the thinking behind that is that all teachers need to be inspired, you need to understand the big picture of what's going on in the world beyond their classroom. And sometimes when you're in a school all day, every day, it's very difficult for you to raise your head up and see what's going on globally. And so when we have a conference of this nature, it's important to be able to share with teachers what's going on globally and so they can see where they fit into that bigger picture. With our Innovate, we like to show them uh, what our teachers who are in the lead spaces are doing, how teachers uh, across the country or lead thinkers are actually innovating. And then we don't 
leave the teachers at our conferences without the skills to be able to do this in their classrooms when they go back. So we actually also include very detailed hands-on training so that they can address the professional learning standards that are required. And we'll also have for um, the teachers a, a tech bar so they can see where technologies are going and to experience the roadmaps for quite a few technologies uh, that will impact their classrooms in the future. I'd like you now to meet the speakers. And I think one of the great things about our conference is the quality of the people uh, that you'll meet. Firstly, um, from our global um, company, we have our global education strategy strategist John Call Carlo Brotto who will be speaking to you about what's happening globally in terms of education technologies and as a, a global strategist he travels the world he works with many educational jurisdictions and districts and schools across the world and looks at the research and looks at the impacts and a lot of you would know that smart technologies is based in Canada and Australian teachers and academics for a very long time have looked to uh, Canada as a, a rather parallel country to Australia and to look at the amazing um, implementations of change. Um, academics like Michael Fullen from that country have, have been to Australia many times uh, to work with us and there's a lot of shared knowledge between our two countries. One of the things um, Giancarlo will even talk about is visible learning, which is um, the work of John Hattie from the University of Melbourne and how that's been influencing the world globally and that will be familiar with our teachers here. And how the smart technologies that um, will be presented throughout the conference actually align with some of that thinking and support uh, the uh, notion of connected learning, of collaboration, and the four C's, which are teachers in Australia are very familiar with, uh, con communication, collaboration, citizenship um, in the digital world, uh, and how those technologies support that. We will also um, share with you some of the thinking around the research that SMART's undertaken and the belief that children everywhere have greatness within them and passions for learning and that it's a job and we know that in Australia through our quality teaching framework that connecting to students to make what they're learning is significant for them is very important and giving students access to global knowledge and global connections, global projects uh, that inspire them and inspire greatness in them is one of the things that uh, is very important for teachers. And sometimes when you're a, a lone practitioner in a classroom, finding those connections for your students is often hard. And we hope that uh, during our conference, we can give you some wonderful ideas and ways to connect to your students and grow that greatness. One of my favourite um, people who will be speaking and, and I, I suppose it's not, um, this conference has a lot of amazing Australian academics and, and brilliant thinkers um, and Dr Simon Crook um, has been a, a passionate educator for a very long time in terms of science. And he's now working at Sydney University and working with that question about what, what technologies actually improve learning. How do they uh, inspire students and how do they enhance the curriculum? Because we know that there's a lot of technology uh, um, for us to choose from, but which are the ones that enhance learning? And Simon will share with you his research and his particular expertise in STEM, which is that science and technology and education and mathematics area, where which is um, we are being asked to rise to that particular agenda because 
for students in the 21st century, having knowledge in the sciences and technology, education, and some people like to add art in there to make that STEAM and mathematics. They're the, they're the roles of the future. That's where our students um, are heading and we need to skill them for the future of work. But along the way, um, they also have to uh, enjoy that learning process. And one of our fantastic keynotes is Dr. Bronwyn Stuckey. And it, Bronwyn has worked for a very long time. She worked in the Department of Education in New South Wales. She got her PhD in, in a field about how communities of practice, how groups of people working together over passionate ideas actually build new knowledge. And then she has worked in uh, the idea of gamification for learning, how learning should be fun, how we can use games for and with and through uh, learning. And I think um, she has seen um, how, for instance, Minecraft can be utilised, the, the passion that students have for playing in that space and how that particular tool can then be used to teach a whole range of mathematical concepts and even literacy concepts. So Bronwyn's um, expertise is well regarded and she is um, currently uh, called to provide keynotes uh, in, at ISTE and in gaming conferences around uh, globally because of her expertise in understanding A, the gaming industry, which is far bigger than the film industry these days and how that plays out, what are the good games because there are good games for students to be participants in and who how games are created and not how games can actually fit into our, our learning processes and, and where they fit into our curriculum. So I think you'll find her a very inspiring keynote. And of course, at the conference, you can also attend her think session, which will focus even more deeply on gamification. Our third keynote is Dr. Christy Goodwin. And Christy is specialised in understanding in the impacts of screens on our digital um, students. It's, it's important to realise that there are students now who have do not know a world without the internet, or even students who do not know the world without a smartphone. And I think um, we have to always check our understanding and our assumptions about the students who are in our classrooms. Um, we might not be particular users of some of these tools, but our students will be. And what Christie's research does is look at the impacts of screen time. What are some of the things that teachers should be careful of? How much time should they be spending on screen at school or at home? Uh, is, is multitasking a thing or not? How do you get to students' attention when they are obsessed by screens in some ways uh, and what are the ways that we can use the screens that they are, they are using for improving their literacy and enhancing learning. I think you'll find her session extraordinarily useful to you as a practitioner and understanding the students that are going to either be in front of you on a daily basis or will be coming through your door over the next five years. We're very fortunate at our conference to be partnering as well with the University of New South Wales Global Group who have for years been uh, at the forefront of assessment and, and you would know the sort of um, global testing and competitions that they have run and how they now are moving into a digital world of uh, assessment and the kind of uh, extraordinary data that's going to be available to teachers in a, in a far better way to provide feedback to the students to understand where st students capabilities are and as we move into the NAPLAN as being an online tool as well it's important that we deeply understand as assessment in a 21st century environment and I think you'll find that um, uh, our two professors from University of New South Wales that will lead you um, 
particularly Professor Kelvin Gregory, uh, through that understanding of assessment that will be uh, give you that big picture about the benefits of data and analytics to us as a tool for teaching and learning. Jacqueline Barton um, is another one of our Think Session speakers. Um, Jackie is the Education Manager at HarperCollins. She's passionate uh, literature reader and, and literacy um, advocate for students, but she actually understands how digital resources are important for teachers and uh, also how to engage students in reading using digital resources and how those two things can go hand in hand to increase the literacy of students and the passion, their passion. Um, and Jackie will be speaking to you about that. She will be speaking to you about the books that they have that, that, that inspire students to read and are often um, there for study in uh, curricula. And I think you'll find that um, that is a very inspiring session and teachers are passionate about the, the literacy of their students and um, how those things marry, how our digital technologies curriculum and our literacy curriculum marries together. We're also very fortunate to have Michelle Gregory. Uh, and Michelle comes from University of Wollongong and is part of an incredibly wonderful early um, childhood program um, called Good Start, which um, has two prongs. It's actually been building the strengths of early childhood centres, uh, 60 across New South Wales, who often have children who uh, have um, low uh, literacy um, skills and um, they uh, come from some quite challenging environments and the um, Good Start program has built their capacity uh, through using technologies and um, working very hard to provide professional development for the um, early childhood uh, provide uh, practitioners in those centres and her evidence shows that those students in transitioning to preschools and, and kindergartens in schools because of their uh, these strong programs that they have run have uh, in, greatly improved. There's also an amazing uh, centre at the University of Wollongong that is about learning for the community in those early years and Michelle will share um, their learning, their um, very strong research-based learning about early childhood and the importance of that for setting students up for a future, a positive future. Kathy Howe is at currently a Deputy Principal from the Forest Primary School in New South Wales. She has been a, an incredible think leader in terms of educational use of educational technology in the classroom and innovation. She has been a Microsoft um, educator. She has led um, the um, Mac Macquarie ICT Innovation Centre where teachers were engaged with innovative projects using technology uh, in the classroom to, to understand the benefits for students learning. She was also part of the Futures Schools Project team in New South Wales Department of Education. So she's a very inspiring speaker about the future of work, about what students need for the future and how uh, we as uh, teachers can provide for that. And I think it's a, a, Kathy is a very grounded um, practitioner and knows how difficult some of that is for us to do and to make those changes, but also where to put our energies and to inspire students for learning. In contrast to that, we also have um, Charles Bronsefort from um, Keylor Views Primary in Victoria, so that. We're not just um, New South Wales centric at this conference, we're actually nationally focused. And Charles and Jeremy Murphy from his school have been looking at the research, particularly the research around visible learning with John Hattie and understanding those research processes and approaches and implementing them across their school. So 
the, they will be talking to you about technology leadership, about uh, what makes the difference in the classroom and how to make that difference in the classroom. And Charles is a very exciting principal and I think um, if you're in a leadership position in the school, in your current school, you might like to come uh, and listen to him and particularly about how uh, uh, as a practitioner and as a school leader, they have made those changes. You're also going to hear from Lou Bao, now as a director of the Whole School Partners. She has been um, an advocate for educational technology for many years. She understands the ICT capabilities for the K-6 environment, the digital um, technologies curriculum, both nationally, and how to implement that in the classroom and across the school. She also understands deeply uh, how professional development occurs or, or effective professional development occurs in the classroom. And she is accredited to, in New South Wales, to NISA, um, which those teachers who will be wanting to gain accreditation for their sessions will be very pleased to participate in, um, in their lessons with her. Um, we have also, um, these are our sort of um, speakers, but what I'd also like to uh, talk to you about a little bit more about um, are some of our Innovate sessions, because what uh, we want to do in the, in the conference is also have people um, engage in hands-on activities. So we have um, Matt Peedle, who has a company called EdTex, and he has robots and um, hands-on tools uh, for teachers to uh, learn to play with robots um, and lead you in um, work, what it's like to implement some of those STEM tools in your classroom. So it, that will be a hands-on fun um, activity for you. You'll be able to also go work with um, the um, Tune World team and understand cartooning in your classroom. You'll be able to uh, look for, if you've heard a lot about drones, but you don't know how they might work in your classroom, you can come and uh, have a hands-on session with those as well. You'll be able to, in this innovate sessions, the things that you've heard about, like coding, you'll be able to uh, work with Helen Lacey and look at coding and how you might set up a um, code club in your school. You'll be able to see um, how with um, a Paul Connolly, who's a digital um, expert from South Australia, you might be able to work with him and, and find out what are the digital technologies that impact on performance of students. So in those particular sessions, in our Innovate sessions, you'll be able to work with people in a very hands-on way uh, and learn about 3D printing, robotics, and um, even drones. So that's very important sessions for you to, to actually experience that and have some fun too. In our training sessions, we have uh, smart exemplary educators and smart certified educators to work with you in those spaces. We have our trainers from um, our headquarters in Calgary here with you, uh, as well as our experts in Australia. So you'll be able to choose uh, sessions that are meaningful to you. For instance, you might want to learn about our new smart learning suite. Uh, so you'll be able to go to as sessions specifically on that. You might want to find out how to use these tools in your language classroom so you can uh, attend a particular um, session on that. You might want to find out how to use a, a smart document camera or you might want to use um, smart notebook for literacy. So we also have sessions on, uh, we know that bring your own device has been a 
big trend in schools. But often the teacher has no way of connecting those devices to um, the, the uh, smart board at the front of the room. And now with our smart learning suite and, and smart tools, there are many ways for you to engage uh, students with their devices, any device that you might find that they have in the classroom. These are very important tools for collaboration and communication. And these are, this is a way for you to upgrade your skills in using um, what the new thinking in terms of smart. We can also, if you're a math expert, you might want to learn about all of the wonderful math tools that SMART has for you. Um, one of the things we know is that math teachers do prefer the SMART board because of its accuracy and um, the GeoBra tools. So you, very important that if you're a math um, team, you might want to come for those sessions. So when you look at our, um, we will be putting our agenda up very quick soon so that you'll be able to choose right down to those smaller sessions that, that actually fit to your needs, your learning needs over the two days and the needs that um, particularly relate to the standards that you want to address for your professional learning at that time. So now we have in the uh, short period left of five minutes, I'm just wondering, uh, I'm going to ask um, if there are any questions from our audience. So at this point in time, it looks like I might have answered everyone's questions. Of course, the, um, the, Hi, Sue, the big I've question, got... I suppose. Hi, Sue, I've got a, Hi. I've got a question here. Um, is the conference going to be accredited? Right. There, one of the things that we're looking at, um, the question, the conference aligns to the uh, standards as we speak. So as a, um, most teachers have to demonstrate that they have undertaken hours of, of training that addresses those standards. So you can um, be confident that it does. Some elements of the conference, uh, the the presenter is already a, um, an accredited presenter and we are looking at um, hopefully um, we're going to need to ourselves to see if we can accredit the, the conference. But at this point in time, you can, uh, it addresses those um, eight cell uh, professional learning standards nationally. And if you're in New South Wales, it does address those standards that are, address, uh, that are linked on the conference. Hi team, just one other note on that. Um, all of the sessions by UNSW Global will be accredited. So those sessions will definitely be accredited and we'll work towards the others. That's excellent. So as, as we said, it does depend on the presenter in the session and it's worth having a look at that as you select your sessions. So, so one more Crystal, question. have we got any more? I, we do. We've got yeah. one more question. Uh, when can we expect the registration portal to be open? That's a very good question. And I would be looking on Friday to see whether you can um, find your uh, sessions. Uh, there, as you can see, there's hundreds of them and so <laughs> we're working very hard at this stage to, to finalise them and what's exciting is that we've had many uh, groups wanting to provide uh, workshops for teachers. I think it's very difficult for a lot of um, teachers are very, very busy people uh, and so it's, it's excellent to see for instance that the um, e-learning group would like for teachers to understand um, how to do e-safety with students in the digital world. Uh, there are groups like the um, Toon World who are really keen for teachers to understand how uh, storyboarding with cartooning is very inspiring for students. So we've been um, 
uh, there are a lot of groups that want to provide uh, an innovative uh, session for us. So we just um, would suggest that probably Friday is the best time for you to see that final agenda. And so is there a way to pre-register? You can, you can uh, go on the site right now and register and let us know of your interest and then later on you'll be, um, we'll let you know with, uh, when those, your sessions are up for your final um, completion of your registration so that you'll know where you're going on the day. Um, and you, it's important to have a really deep think about what it is you want to uh, focus on for your own learning, um, how much training you want to undertake, what innovation sessions. And if you're a school team coming, it's good for you to distribute. Think about um, the leadership um, line, what uh, perhaps if you're coming with your uh, deputy or your AP or your principal, what perhaps they might want to attend and uh, for you and the people in your school and their level of capacity, what they can do and, and selecting the, the correct um, uh, activity to go to during that time. And, and as a team, you might um, share across the whole conference and then work together to how you're going to present that back at the school level. Lovely, that's all the questions we have in the chat pod, thanks Sue. That's my pleasure, Crystal, and I see that it's 4.15, so I know how busy teachers are and I'm sure they're dying for a cup of coffee. And um, next, I hope that um, if you missed out, this time you'll be able to see this um, on uh, YouTube or we, as we have recorded it. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all at the conference and um, remember, it's always better to bring a buddy because you do learn more when you're with somebody. <laughs>